How strong should you be for your age and gender? Well, today we're going to find out. Before we start, let's get the intro out of the way. In How Strong Are You Part 1, we look at how you can assess your current levels of upper and lower body muscular endurance and upper body strength. You can compare yourself to world standards for your age group and gender, then use those benchmarks to see if you're improving over time. It's got two. Mm, actually, Homer, that's just one. Please note this is Part 1. We are looking at simple starting points for measuring upper and lower body muscular endurance and upper body strength. These exercises are easy to do and all of them except one can be done at home or in the local park. In part two, we will cover the bench press, squat and deadlift, giving simple standardized strength guidelines for age groups and experience level. If you're an intermediate or advanced level lifter, then part two will be right up your alley. However, I still think that these assessments will be worthwhile you checking them out. One of, if not the most important facet of any fitness or health and well-being journey is progress. Now, not all progress needs to be strength focused. However, that is what today's video is about. I love assessments to see if my students or clients are progressing. Because if they're not, then I'm making a mistake, or I need to dig deeper into what's holding them back. Dad is great. Give, Give us chocolate cake. cake. Today's video assessment section starts at this time marker, so you can fast forward to that if you want to miss all the good bits coming up. Before we do kick off, I want to share some interesting strength statistics that I stumbled on a while back. I'm going to read them off the laptop and put the screenshots up here. Right. Apparently, 99.99% .99 of people can fluff their pillows. 87% of people can bench press 20 pound. I think I can do that. 68% of people can do 20 burpees. 45% of people can do 10 push-ups. 14% of people can deadlift 60 kilos. That's 132 pound. 3% of people can do 10 pull-ups. 0.5% of people can squat 100 kilo, 220 pound. 0.07% of people can bench press their body weight. Now I'm gonna leave the weirdest strength, strength statistic Try and say that fast a few times. I'm going to leave the weirdest strength statistic till the end. But if you happen to know these guys, it's going to be worth sticking around for that one. Now, I'd love you to leave a comment in the section below on any of these statistics that you managed to achieve, apart from the first two. I don't think they count. So let's kick into your assessments. There's going to be full video description, plus I'll give a written description, plus the charts with the standardized results so that you can screenshot those at any stage. Just pause and screenshot. However, I'm also going to supply a free PDF that'll be linked in the description below. You can click on that link if you want a PDF description of all of these assessments. Right time to look at the upper body muscular endurance assessment. So this assessment we're going to be doing as many push-ups as we can continually, no rest at the top, no rest at the bottom. I'm putting a towel on the ground here just for my chest to touch so that I don't slap against the concrete. For men the assessment is done on your toes, for ladies the assessment is done on your knees. Now ladies, most of you or a lot of you can do push-ups on your toes, that's cool, but the assessment for world standard to compare yourself with is done on the knees. We want to be keeping a straight line from our ear, hip to the knee for the ladies, ear, hip, knee to toes for the men. 
I'll give you a quick demo on how this is going to look. We want to be also making sure our hands are directly below our shoulders and our elbows are going to be coming in close to our body as we're doing our push-up. We don't want to see any out here kind of flappy albatross push-ups. And no bobs. I'll show you what a bob is in a moment. Sorry, any bobs watching? No offense. Right, let's, let's get a few push-ups out of the way. So again, my hands are directly below my shoulders. Straight line, ears, shoulders, hips to feet. Chest to towel and up. Continual, no stopping. If I stop up here for a quick breath, my assessment is over. If I stop down here for a quick rest, again, my assessment is over. Ladies, on the knees, again, straight line, ears, shoulders to the hips, to knees. Feet can be up in the air or just resting on the ground. That's up to you. Again, down to the towel, all the way up. Now, don't roll that towel up too big. You still want to get it relatively flat so you're not cheating and not going all the way down or as close as you can to the ground. Now, what is a bob? I forgot to show you. Here's a bob, especially a knee bob. Knee bobs are easy. This is a knee bob. This is a push-up. Same on here. We don't want to see this. Full, straight body push-ups. Oh, I'm sweating. It's 33 degrees out here. I'm going to put that in Fahrenheit down the bottom, but I'm glowing, uh, probably glowing more than usual. I hope you guys don't mind. Time for some screenshots. You can pause at any point or rewind, take a screenshot of the workouts and the result charts for both men and women. Of course, remember, you can also go to the description below and click the link to download the complimentary PDF. Let's have a look at one of the result charts. This is the men's chart. Age groups are there clearly for you to see. And then we have beginner, intermediate, advanced to elite results. So do the assessment and then see where you rank for your age group. Okay, let's break down the lower body muscular endurance assessment. We're simply going to be doing as many air squats as we can with no rest. So no resting at the top no resting at the bottom. We're also got to make sure that we get our hips to the level of our knee or below. To help with that mobility, you can put your feet as wide as you feel comfortable. I normally recommend slightly wider than hips, just inside the shoulder width. But again, if you need to go a little bit wider to get that mobility to do this assessment, then that's fine. So again, feet slightly wider than hips, toes out will also increase that mobility, that range of mobility. I'm going to do five reps on the side just to show you what we're looking for. Again, all the way down, hips level with knees or below, all the way up to straight knee. Don't hyperextend the knee, just to a straight knee. All the way down, all the way up, no stopping. If I was to stop at the top for a quick breath, my assessment is over. I must keep continual squats. Same thing, if I get down to the bottom and I want to take a rest, my assessment is over. So no stopping at the bottom to send a text or have a drink of water, okay? It's nice, continual reps. What do you do with your hands? Up to you, but don't rest them on your legs. They can be out here. They can be behind your head if you want to make it super hard. Out in front, but again, don't rest them on your legs. I personally just like to keep them around this height here. But again, that's going to be a personal preference for you. If you're a little bit unsure how deep to go, find a stool or, or something that's around about the correct height that your butt just touches as your hips get to knee height. It's screenshot time again. We've got the exercise description, which is same for men and women. We have the result chart for men, and we've got the result chart for women. And of course, you can download the PDF from the description below if you'd prefer. We're going to stay with VoiceOver Vaughn for upper body strength assessment, option one, the dead hang. We're going to be hanging from any bar we can find for as long as we can. If you're at a local gym, easy to find a bar. You might have a chinning bar at home. Otherwise, get down to the local park or playground where you should be able to find a jungle gym of some kind to hang from. Shower and curtain rails are not recommended. 
Remember, this assessment is the dead hang or passive hang, meaning no extra muscle engagement from the back and shoulders. Active hangs are fantastic. However, you will not be able to hang as long doing an active hang. So please use the dead hang. It's screenshot time again. We've got the exercise description, which is same for men and women. We have the result chart for men, and we've got the result chart for women. And of course, you can download the PDF from the description below if you'd prefer. Moving on to the final assessment, upper body strength, option two, farmers carry. Now, many of you may have already seen a video I've done on this exercise and its benefits. If you haven't, you can click the link up on the top right hand corner here. I'll also put the link in the description below. But now we want to find out how much weight you should be using and what is a goal for your age group in time. Men using 100% of body weight, 50% in each hand. Women, 75%, approximately 37.5% in each hand. As soon as you pick up the weight and start walking, the timer starts. Keep walking for the entire assessment. If you stop walking, your assessment is over. No gloves, no lifting straps. Time for the final screenshots. The exercise description for both men and women is exactly the same. The difference is the weight you'll be using. The chart is also the same. I'm going to freeze frame this so you can see some reference points for your age group. But remember, pause this just like any of the other charts and you can then save that for future reference. If you prefer the PDF, remember that's in the description below. There you have it. It doesn't matter how old you are or what your body weight is. These assessments are there to measure where you are now and then to reassess yourself in the coming weeks to see if you are progressing. Although we use these exercises as assessments today, the dead hang and the farmer's carry should be used weekly in your upper body strength programming. As for the muscular endurance assessments, throw them in every once in a while just for that extra challenge during your cardio or conditioning workout. Leave a comment below on how you stack up with these four assessments. I'd love to hear how everybody sits with these. And of course, if you're progressing over time. And remember, if you want a free PDF on these assessments, check the description below, click the link and download that for free. And of course, the Longevity Plus Move and Improve Guide is there as well, if you haven't already downloaded that. Now, before you go, that weirdest strength stat that I found, apparently, 0.004% of people can knock someone out with a slap. Now, I'm not promoting slapping, but apparently in Russia, it's a competition. I'm going to put a very, very short clip up now. So, one of these guys might have a future elsewhere. Remember, the goal of this channel is to clarify and simplify so you can take action now. Remove the confusion of possible analysis paralysis. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep moving, keep improving, and keep your mojo alive. If you haven't already, please leave a comment below. Press that subscribe button. Press the bell icon so you'll always be notified when a new video is released. And Merry Christmas.